The Church of Pentecost UK National Youth and Pension Ministry presents He Has Risen Written by Michael Odum Domfen and Adeze Izizi Episode 1 The Trial Take him away! Liar! Today we'll see who you really are. The one who blasphemes. Enough, you lot! Jesus bar Joseph, you claim yourself to be the son of man. Is this true? You claim that you and the father are one. Is this true? You claim that you are the I am, yet you are not even 50. That you have seen Abraham. Is this true? You say that whoever does not honor the son does not honor the father. Are you again claiming that you are the son? that he is the Lord of the Sabbath, that he's e- even able to forgive sins. And how can we forget? He claims to be greater than the prophet, that he has no sins. We heard him say, I will destroy this temple made with human hands, and in three days I will build another, maybe without human hands. I remember qu- quite well that this fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and rebuild it in three days. Well, aren't you going to answer these charges? What do you have to say for yourself? Hmm. Are you the Messiah, the son of the Blessed One? Answer me! I have spoken openly to the world. I always taught in the synagogue or the temple, where all the Jews come together. I said nothing in secret. Why question me? Ask those who heard me. Surely they know what I said. Is this the way you answer the high priest? If I have said something wrong, testify as to what I said wrong. But if I spoke the truth, why did you strike me? Charge you under oath by the living God. Tell us if you are the Messiah, the Son of God. I am. You have said so. And you will see the Son of Man seated in the place of power, at the right hand of God, and coming on the clouds of heaven. Why do we need other witnesses? You have heard his blasphemy. What is your verdict? Put a balaclava over him. Prophesy to us, Messiah, who hit you? It should be noted that the time of the trial, in accordance to Jewish customs, was deemed as unlawful. First and foremost, the very time of the trial was deemed unlawful. According to tradition, which the Sahindrid undoubtedly followed, it was illegal to try capital cases at night. By doing so, the Sahindrid broke the law. When a person's life was at stake, the trial could only be held during the day. Secondly, the trial was to begin when two or three witnesses had come forth. Not only that, but they were to agree on every single detail. However, on this occasion, the high priest sought witnesses to testify against Jesus. This in itself was worthy of an offense, again, according to Jewish customs. False witnesses were to be punished, and in a murder case such as the lives of Jesus, who some called the Christ, Those who gave false testimony were also subject to the death penalty. Second to last, since the judgment in the capital case could not be rendered until the next day, it was illegal to try someone on the day before the Sabbath or before a holy day. During the Sabbath day or a holy day, there couldn't be no legal meeting of the Sahindri. Finally, 
they never considered the testimony of the one who was on trial, Jesus Christ. Get up! Hurry up! We're here to see Pointer's pilot. Who is it now? Rufus, don't just stand there. Let them in. Yes, sir. Leave him on the ground where he belongs. And may I know why you have bought me a man who is in chains and thrown him on my floor? Is he not one of you? That you have made him like one of us? That's enough. I said, that's enough. That's enough, Ishika. So now tell me, why have you brought this man here? This man who stands before you, known as Jesus Bar Joseph, has claimed to be the son of God. As a matter of fact, he has claimed to be equal with the very God our forefathers worshipped. We have a law, and according to our law, he ought to die, because he claimed to be the son of God. Is this true? He is causing riots by teaching wherever he goes, all over Judea, from Galilee to Jerusalem. This man has also been leading our people astray by telling them not to pay their taxes to the Roman government and claiming he is the Messiah, a king. Are you the king of the Jews? You have said so. He has stated himself to be Lord of the Sabbath, whilst also saying he is able to forgive sins. Don't you hear the testimony that they are bringing against you? He is called on riot by teaching wherever he goes, all over Judea, from Galilee to Jerusalem. Oh, is he a Galilean? Yes, he is. And since he is a Galilean, he knows that nothing good will come from Galilee, let alone to make such ludicrous claims about being the son of God. Then send him to Herod, for he is none of my business. As far as I am concerned, I see nothing wrong with this man. Pilate sent him to Herod Antipas because Galilee was under Herod's jurisdiction and Herod happened to be in Jerusalem at the time. Herod was delighted at the opportunity to see Jesus because he had heard about him and had been hoping for a long time to see him perform a miracle. Sir, there's someone at the door. Sir, there are people at your door. Yes, yes. Should I open the door, sir? Sir? Why are you here? With much due respect, I, I've been dragged here by the Jews because of this man. Someone I think you've been waiting to see. And who would that be? The one they call the Son of God, Jesus Bar Joseph. Good day, sir. Pilate, you've done a good thing today. Let us speak soon, friend. Leave us. I've heard so much of you, Jesus. Come on. Don't act like you can't speak. It's your speaking, your teaching, your preaching that has got you to where you are now. But yet the supposed son of God doesn't want to speak anymore. <laughs> I've heard of your many miracles. Show me. Some have gone as far as calling you the king. Men, do you hear? Not a king, the king. My father, about 33 years ago, was told about a prophecy of a king to be born. Men from the east came and asked my father, where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose and we have come to worship. See, those were their exact words. Now, if that be you, then are you therefore God? 
or a God. For who accepts worship if they are not a God, let alone an infant? My father, due to his greed and hunger for power, as well as his own insecurities, killed thousands of male children for the next two to three years after he'd been approached by these magi. People thought he was mad. Yet every king reigns with a bit of madness. And now the one he sought to kill has come to me with his life in my hands. Life has a funny way of showing itself, don't you think? Now you will answer me. If you are the son of God, the Messiah, turn this wine that I drink to water. I've met men like you before. Those who are loud in the colonnade of the temple, having their voices bouncing off the pillars, garnering the tension of many feeding off the weak, yet, yet in my presence are nothing. And today, I have seen that even the son of God fears a king. Still, you choose not to answer me? You, you mock me by accepting worship, yet you don't speak when asked about your fallibility. I have asked you, are you the Christ? Yet you have become mute like those by your very hands have been given speech. He is an imposter. The one who claims to forgive sins, yet he himself sins. He has said he will destroy the temple and raise it up in three days. The very same temple that took 46 years to build by human hands. Liar, claiming to be equal with God. If you are God, then free yourself from these chains. You are no king. A king dresses in royalty and fine clothing. So today, I will make you a king and give you a crown, strip him naked. Now strip him. If my father couldn't do it, then I will certainly at the very least prove that this Jew is no king. <laughs> give the self-proclaimed king a purple robe. No king is seen in rags, are they Jesus? Quiet in the Prematorium. You have brought this man to me and- uh, Sorry to intrude. It's a message <sighs> from your wife. You brought this man to me, Jesus Bar Joseph, in whom some <laughs> refer to as the Christ, accusing him of leading a revolt. I have examined him thoroughly on this point in your presence and found him innocent. Herod came to the same conclusion and sent him back to us. Nothing this man has done calls for the death penalty. So I will have him flogged and then I will release him. What cause do you have in seeking this man's blood? Murder him! What is your charge against this man? We wouldn't have handed him over to you if you weren't a criminal. Then take him away and judge him by your own law. Only the Romans are permitted to execute someone. <sighs> Call me Jesus, now. Are you the king of the Jews? Is this your own question or did others tell you about me? Am I a Jew? 
your own people and their leading priests brought you to me for trial. Why? My kingdom is not an earthly kingdom. If it were, my followers would fight to keep me from being handed over to the Jewish leaders. But my kingdom is not of this world. Ah, so you are a king. You say I am a king. Actually, I was born and came to this world to testify to the truth. All who love the truth recognizes that what I say is true. And what is truth? He is not guilty of any crime, but you have a custom of asking me to release one prisoner each year at Parson. Would you like me to release the King of the Jews? King of the Jews. I see no reason as to why this man should be crucified. Why? What crime has this man committed? I have found in him no grounds for the death penalty. Therefore, I will have him punished and then release him. He Has Risen was written by Michael Odum Domven and Adeeze Eziji. It featured Emma Deborah as Commander Issaka, Justina Amponsa as Stephanias, Elder Two and Chief Priest One, Holly Akins as Rufus and Luther, Michaela Cranche as Elder One, Georgia Cranche as Elder Three and Chief Priest Two, Sharita Frimpong as Caiaphas, Hayford Okuwa as Jesus, Anna Asiama as Herod, Vincent Ananimu as Pilate, and Joshua Asamani as the narrator. The production was produced by Asari Deborah and Georgia Cranchi. Virtual studio direction was by AJ Taylor and the executive producer was Vincent Ananimu. With thanks to Christina Carti and Simon Sampeni Guateng. He Has Risen was a Transformers media production for the National Youth and Pension Ministry of the Church of Pentecost, UK.